to a new video on Super Medico. My name is George and I am a medical student. So this video will be doing in English. Uh, so this is a question many of you have asked that I would like to cover today. And I hope this is helpful for you. So the topic I will be covering today is what to do one month before your entrance exams like uh, NEET and all, NEET, uh, JEE etc. So you have all prepared for one year or two years and you have covered a lot of things but this final one month is your consolidation phase you are going to compile everything and you are going to appear for the exams so if you don't get this last one month right maybe the full preparation you have done might go to waste because our brain has a memory you know we have a bad memory of old things we tend to only remember the new things so unless we keep on revising and all properly we won't be able to retain those information you have studied so I am going to share with you five points that you can implement in your strategy for the last one month. So I'll cover it quick because you all have lots of studying to do. So won't waste your time. So the first point I would like to cover is planning. You have to plan. There's a beautiful quote. If you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. So we have to plan what we're going to do because there's a huge amount of information. There's a huge amount to study. Unless you plan properly, you might not uh, able to complete everything properly so uh, just consider there are four weeks okay this month this is the last day of your exam so this last week is your the last this is the last lap the last lap this is the last week where you're going to revise everything what you've studied now okay so uh, I'll just mm, come to that later so this is your first week this is your second week and this is your third week so imagine you have three subjects, for example, you have physics, chemistry and biology. There are two ways of proceeding with the revision. One is you can take one week for each subject and complete the whole syllabus of that subject in that week. But some people won't like that because it's too monotonous, you have only one subject will be boring. So what you can do is you can mix up subjects. So you can do uh, 10 subjects of physics in each week, 10 subjects of bio, 10, subject, uh, 10, lesson, like, uh, 10 chapters of physics in one week, 10 ch chapters of bio 10 chapters of chemistry in each week so like that you can complete that is your plan which you like you follow that but definitely make a plan to know which chapter you cover which day and all that the last week you have like six days seven days your exam so this last week you can devote two days per subject or again you can mix and try to cover everything again and again especially all those things you keep on forgetting because all these uh, I mean you know like p block and uh, d block chapters and all is really things that you keep on forgetting so keep on revising them so you won't forget so that's the first uh, thing planning the second one I would like to discuss is another important point that is don't read anything new we all have a tendency to you know go to study new things especially in the last month we hear some of our friends say some things we hear maybe you know somebody who a uh, video says something study something new it's important and all Remember, you don't have enough time. You have only one month left. Okay? So give your priority to revising the stuff you have learned. Because even if you study new stuff, which may be just, you know, not that high yield, but the things what you studied two or seven months ago is very high yield, and you forget that, there's no use. So definitely study, revise properly. Then if you have time, only study the new things. I don't guess you will get time. So definitely revise properly. Okay? That is your first priority. Revision, 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 revision. The next thing is really important that is called mock test. Uh, I can't stress how important, you know, how more important is this because every day you can write a previous year paper and you will know where you are standing. You can check the ranks based on your marks and you will know how much rank you could get. And also you can join an institution and a test series where they are doing tests and you can get your ranks real time with lots of other students who are at your same level writing the exam. So you know how much you have to improve to reach the top ranks to get your dream seat. So doing a test series will be important and testing is the one of the best ways of revision too. So you can keep on improving where you make mistakes. Uh, the next thing is something we all know. That is health. We all know the quote, a healthy body gives a healthy mind. But none of us follow it. Especially during entrance time, we sacrifice the sleep, we sacrifice our food. We sacrifice the health that's not good because if you get a disease if you get a fever and all during the preparation time man you won't be able to perform well in the exam so what you have to do keep yourself healthy eat good food have good sleep okay and also don't you know take care of your health don't eat outside food too much 
uh, you know, make sure you are protected from fever and all. If somebody has it, take proper protection and all. So you won't get it. So keep your yourselves healthy always. The final tip, which will with which I will close my session, will be your exam day. So your last day is very important, and you need to prepare well. That means you have to get your stationery ready, like uh, your hall tickets, ID cards, and all. Uh, you have to be in a calm of mind. You should not get tense seeing others in the exam hall. Uh, you know, you don't. Uh, suppose you might get a tough question. You don't need to worry about it like that. So there's a video I've already created on 10 tips for the exam hall, which will cover all these topics. This is that was this video is mainly in Malayalam. So if you follow Malayalam, you can check out the video. So wishing all of you all the very best for your exams. I know I know all of you will do very well. So don't be tensed. Be cool. and uh, definitely subscribe to super medico and click the bell button i'll be posting videos on uh, neat exam tips and all uh, how to choose your medical colleges how to prepare the counseling things and all whatever you want you can definitely let me know and also uh, fill the google form if you would like to have a, a live session so we can plan out the dates on facebook or youtube for all of you who are interested and uh, i guess that's it So if you like the page and follow us on Instagram, uh, well, I don't suggest that if you are a new student now, you better prepare. But definitely try subscribing. Maybe you know you'll get wonderful, helpful videos. And that's it. So till we see in the next video. That's in coming Thursday, 5 p.m. Goodbye from Super Medical.